Guys, I'm probably going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to start the next world and only go to the end of the first level of the first world. Mario and his new friends open the door, unsure what they would find. All the while, Merley's words about finding the other two heroes rang in their minds. Were these other heroes somewhere in this new world? If not, where? Meanwhile, the creeping void grew larger in the skies above Flipside. The hopes of all worlds rested on the heroes finding the next pure heart. Chapter 3 1 When Geeks Attack! Now this level, level is a slight pain in the butt. You'll see why at the very beginning. Now this area, I believe, is called the Bitlands. So this is where the door leads. I suppose the next pure heart is, must be nearby. That's odd. I can feel it nearby, but where could it be? Well, it's... Ah! What the hell? <laughs> I technical. I caught a super rare pixelated butterfly. My friends are Digibutter and that nerd. That Digibutter ah, sorry. are going to freak when they get word of this find. I must bring it home. I can't miss week this week's episode of the Grotus Chronicles. No way I'm going to trust my digital record meow to tape an episode it's so epic. It's so high technical. Ah! Stop that reneg renegade geek! Oh great. Now we have no one to interpret Mario's thoughts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You kidnapping? Oh, this is bad. The awful spectacle of it all. The shocking scene occurred right before my very own tender eyes. Well, I guess that's a wrap for that pixel. Now that freak Francis has got her. Uh, let's switch to Peach, because I'm sure she has more dialogue for what's about to happen. This guy seems... This bush seems to know more about the situation. Let's talk to him. Whoa! -ho. Hey, the pixel. Who's this guy? A friend of the butterfly girl that was nabbed? Well, that's a pity. That geek just grabbed... That grabbed her? Francis? Basically the nerd to end all nerds. Plus, he's got this thing for butterflies. And well, all things nerdy, too. If he gets his sweaty mitts on something he likes, there's no getting it back. He collects stuff and keeps it in his big fancy fortress. It's like geek paradise. Where's this poor Francis? Well, if you go all the way down ahead for miles and miles, you can, you'll find it. You don't think of portraying the nerd there and rescuing her, are you? Look, nobody likes having a butterfly kidnapped by a geek, but it's dangerous. See a little set on it, eh? What a tender woman. I think I got something in my eye here. Listen, let me give you some t travel tips. You listen? Good. All I got for you is three critical tips, so remember all of them. Here's your first tip. Now these tips uh, will follow our hints as to the next three levels. A bunch of middle class jerks are holed up in this castle up ahead. Correction, four levels. This one included. It ain't got gonna be easy getting past them. But here's the juice. It's an old, old castle. Do your thing with that red X mark. Then maybe something will happen for you. Now for my second gift. If you somehow pass those clouds in the, the castle, you'll see an ocean. Can't miss it. A scary sea monster lives there. The beast is huge and cranky. But if you toast its red flipper thing, something good will, is bound to happen. And here's the last tip. Once you swim your way through that ocean, you'll see a humongous tree. There's a huge gorge on the other side. There's no jumping across it. Look for the red wind and do something with it. Then you can get across. Get all that? Good. You be careful now. By some crazy chance to do saver, come back and tell me about how you did. But yeah, we'll visit him later on. For now, let's continue on. Oh, we don't have a thing. Never mind. I don't have Tippy, so I can't 
No, the catalog is out. On with the adventure! And we'll need Mario. Hey, look at that door. Enter! That was close. Why? Because I think that they can't fall in the pit. There's only one per every time you're in the level. Be aware. You don't want to go too far away. Now? Run! Oh god. Correction. About what I just said earlier. Now this is kinda creepy. Now you may be thinking this guy's invincible. Truth be told, you can still beat him, but he's a bigger pain in the butt in this form. What you wanna do is quickly run away. Trust me, you'll wanna run away. Not for fear of getting crushed, just you'll need to run the opposite direction for a bit. And here's a miraculous little block. Time to fight fire with fire. In this case, star power with star power. Attack! And he's down. Nip, nip, laugh, sip, it, dir, it. If you read that backwards, it is fall in between the red pipes. What does this do? There we go. Oh, yeah, it's because we, right, fell from the sky in that door. So we're running all the way back now. And we also have to go all the way back again. All the way back to the game.